Sourwood. Scientific name is pronounced Oxydendrum arboreum, and it is a member of the Ericaceae family or the Heath family, and is a species most commonly found in drier upland forests in the southeastern U.S. While it can be found in other habitats, that's where it's most commonly found as an understory or mid canopy tree. And uh, sourwood does flower later than most woody plants, anywhere from late June through August. Here in western North Carolina, it's blooming uh, currently in, in August. Um, when you see sourwood in the forest, the trees are rarely straight. They often look, uh, look bent or have a curve to them. They're naturally that way. They have simple, alternate leaves uh, that are very finely serrate. Uh, if you look closely at the margins of the leaves, they are very finely serrate. And uh, if you get up the notion, um, take uh, peel off a leaf and, and chew on it. It's got a very sour taste when chewed. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the dead gi giveaway that you do have sour wood. Um, older trees have a very heavily furrowed bark. Uh, even younger trees exhibit kind of the furrowing or kind of lacing or roping, sometimes a blocky form to the bark. And if you take a pocket knife and scrape a little bit of the bark, you, uh, they, uh, you'll get a reddish to orange uh, color when you scrape the bark. Twigs of sourwood kind of have a zigzag form and the leaf scar is elevated from the uh, from the, the twig and is in the shape of a shield if you can picture that. Uh, flowers of sourwood are urn shaped and they point down in very showy uh, uh, panicles or groups of flowers which is very important for uh, sourwood honey production. Sourwood honey is, uh, is one of the more valuable types of, of honey uh, or desired types of honey in the southeast. And here's a map showing the native range of Oxydendrum arboreum sourwood.